My name is Tom Benkowski. I'm a director of product marketing uh, for Arbor Networks, and I focus primarily on the service provider market segment. Can you describe Arbor's experience working with cloud and hosting providers? Yeah, well, uh, Arbor's had a long, uh, successful experience with cloud and hosting providers. Um, we, a number of the largest in the world, in fact, are Arbor customers, and uh, we really uh, have had good, good success. We've seen a lot of our traditional ISP customers migrate uh, or expand their services into the cloud, in which case we're helping them as well. Why do cloud service and hosting providers have a higher risk of, of DDoS attacks? Uh, basically, it's down to the multi-tenant nature of their environments. Uh, the fact that they're uh, having uh, you know, single data centers or, or multiple data centers housing potentially thousands and thousands of customers makes them very vulnerable to a DDoS attack. Uh, the collateral damage that is caused by a DDoS attack not only you know, impacts the, the target victim, but also the others in that shared facility, too. How can DDoS defense uh, be a competitive differentiator for these hosting companies? I tell you, you, know, you, you talk to a lot of the hosting and cloud providers in this, in this uh, particular event, um, and they're all fearful, first of all, that there's a whole slew of competition. You know, there was a stat thrown around that there's 35,000 hosting providers with over a million dollars of revenue. Therefore, differentiation is very, very critical to them. So they're all looking for ways to add more value-added services, security services, and specifically DDoS protection services are one of those value-added services. And what kind of visibility does Arbor provide? So what kind of visibility does Arbor provide? Well, there's really, we'll say it's two different layers. One is just giving you overall network visibility. You know, what, what, not, what What's traversing in and out of your network? Uh, what applications are being accessed? The second is we then take that traffic um, and then we, we kind of look through it through the slant of threat identification. So the ability to uh, warn you of potential attacks, uh, you know, either coming into your data center or cloud services or kind of weird anomalous traffic heading out of your server or of your, of your data center. So, you know, we provide you the basic level of visibility and then we have a slant towards threat identification. Can you talk about um, how these cloud and hosting providers have an opportunity to generate revenue using um, using DDoS protection services? Today, uh, the, the, the term commodity has been thrown around this conference many, many times over the last couple days. Uh, basic, basic services like offering hosting or data center services are becoming very commoditized. So the, so the cloud and hosting provider are looking for ways to differentiate themselves and adding what they call more value-added services. Uh, the Arbor products can be utilized to deliver managed security services, specifically DDoS protection services. There are a lot of features uh, built into the products like portals and APIs and uh, things like that that enable them to deliver such managed security services.